Welcome back to Messy Garage. Today I'm going to do an unboxing uh, review, uh, short review without writing, and then also a very quick install of the Pack Talk Slim on my new helmet. So the helmet I got is the Scorpion EXO ST1400 Carbon. I got the, um, the matte carbon finish, and I know I'm a little bit uh, maybe a fanboy of the Scorpions already because I've been riding with uh, an R420 with the Pack Talk Slim on it. So what I'm going to do now is replace that with the carbon and then put a pack talk slim on it so inside the box what you get is you will get a helmet bag that is going to have the helmet in it i'm sure and then you get a second visor which is a nice add and that visor is actually a pin lock visor so you're going to get the pin lock to go with it the one installed on it that currently comes installed on it is also clear, which is a little bit interesting. I, I wish they would have given you a clear and a uh, smoke visor. That would have been a nicer touch in my opinion, but you get two clear ones. So what you do after that is, is up to you. It does have a, uh, a flip down sun visor inside of it. Maybe that's the thinking with doing two clear ones. Uh, you get the tech manual also, which I'll open up at some point. So. Let's get on with the review. Um, let's open this thing up and take a look at the helmet itself. All right, so let's look at the outside first. It's a carbon fiber shell, which looks really nice. And um, actually, the there's no blemishes in it or anything. I mean, it looks really good. They did a good job on this. Uh, the back, you'll see uh, DOT and ECE certifications. You've got some passive air vents here, or exhaust vents, rather. And then you've got your venting on the top, which is actually pretty big. And you can use it really good with a glove, I'm sure. So that's nice. You've got your vents in the front. So I think the first click on this will shoot air up through here. And that's gonna get air on the visor itself, help with the uh, anti-fog. And then the second one will actually let it through, I don't know if you can see in there, it should let it through into your face a little bit and give you a little air on the front around your mouth. So that's nice. Another thing that's really cool is it comes with the inner smoke shield. Now one complaint I've heard on these, and I haven't ridden with this yet, um, obviously because I'm just taking it out of the box, but I've heard this doesn't go down far enough, um, so that might be a valid point not sure if that has to do with the way the venting is um, but we'll see I plan on putting a either a smoke or a colored shield on here anyway so I'm not too worried about it inside you've got really nice cheek pads uh, they do a good job Scorpion does on these uh, it feels good on my 420 and uh, they're really comfortable it keeps the sweat pulled away from your face um, in the summer and it's got the emergency poles here so if you do have an unfortunate incident the emergency crew can just pull that out it'll pull the cheek pad out and it'll easier uh, access to get it off your head rather than putting any twisting your head a little bit if you may have a spine injury um, what else so I've got the they've got speaker pockets in here as well so I'm going to actually be putting a Cardo in here. So yeah, you've got speaker pockets. These little inserts come out and the pockets are pretty deep. Not sure if you can see those or not. Um, we'll see. I'm going to put the Cardo in there and I'll, I'll show that again in a little bit. Now one thing I'm concerned about is that on Cardo's website, it doesn't say that a Pack Talk Slim will work on this helmet. I'm going to try to make it work. Um, hopefully it does. I've seen mixed reviews. Some people say they can get it working. Some people say it's a pain in the butt and they can't get it working. So we will see. Um, another feature in here is an air bladder system. So if you pump this up, what it's going to do is going to make the cheek pads tighter around your head and give you a tighter fit. And then here, this little silver 
button releases the air. I uh, haven't tried that yet. Another feature they have on here is a chin curtain. What that's going to do is going to cut down on the wind coming in. Should cut down on the noise. Um, I think it'll actually also work as a maybe a beard shelf so I can slide my beard up in there. I'll have to try that. Um, yeah, so let me try it on. See how it fits. All right, so overall it feels really comfortable. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I put a mic inside the helmet. Um, fits really well. The visor inside goes down. Um, I can see where some people would say it doesn't go down enough. I think if we're, maybe if I'm looking down at my mirrors, it might be like right in this area. So I'm not sure how much of a distraction that would be. This feels pretty good. And actually it seems like you could crack it open while you're riding to get a little bit of air in there. And then also let's test out the whole beard shield, uh, beard, beard shelf. There, now I look actually respectable where I don't have a big wizard beard. So overall I think it's pretty good. So I'm probably gonna walk through the installation of the Cardo um, a lot quicker on this install. Uh, possibly what you want to do if you want more in-depth how-to uh, in order to put it in um, I did another video I'll link up here in the description on the on this R420 it's got the Cardo Pack Talk Slim on it I'm going to attempt to put the same unit in here so what I'll do is I'll probably just play this maybe a little faster or just play bits of it. Um, again, any more detailed information, check that other video and it walks you step by step how to do it. But I'm just gonna try to do it on this helmet or part of this review. Alright, so I'm actually doing this backwards from the last time I did it. I wanted to see if these parts would fit in first because the, uh, I was pretty sure the speakers were going to fit. That's a no-brainer, I think. So, here's the speaker holes. Got most of the unit in there already. Alright, so on this one, this is interesting. Um, they do fit in there really good and you don't even need to use the enclosed velcro because they have little clips in these speaker pockets that hold the speakers in there perfectly so that's uh that's pretty cool it's going to make it easier to get in and out so in order to get it in all the way i had to pull the unit out of the back here on the bottom and what i'm going to do is get both cheek pads in and then try to push everything back together and hopefully that stays in there secure. But so far, I've got the other cheek pad in, I've got the speakers in, the microphones in. We are looking pretty good right now. Now with these cheek pads, it's, it's uh, good to remember this groove here. It's there's some little clips that are between the the shell and the liner, and that's where those go. So just gotta light them, line them up and push it down. You should be good. And now you'll see why I had to lift this up because this has to tuck up underneath the cardo unit. There we go. And I think it should be on. Yeah, I can hear it. So it is installed. Looks like it's going to work. So that's pretty cool. All right, now to get some of these stickers off and uh, take it for a ride. 
All right, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see other content. Let me know what you want me to, to look at, whether it's reviews. I'm going to start riding some more bikes um, and doing DIY stuff on the Indian. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.